Hello and welcome to Alternate Educators Background Bonanza Hop. This is Tamara with Forget Me Not Car Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to share with you how I made this gorgeous card inspired by Altenu. Keep watching. Today, I'm going to start with Sweet Leaf, Grass Field, and Shadow Creek. These are all dye inks from Altenu. First, I start with Sweet Leaf. I'm going to ink blend until I have a great coverage. This is going to be fast forward for you. It took me a little bit to get a full coverage of this color. I think my ink is going a little bit dry, but I do manage it, even though it does take me a couple of attempts to get it right. Once I have a good base, I will then move to grass field. The grass field goes on so much smoother, and I love that beautiful green color. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a pop. I do slowly bring down my blending brush into the sweet leaf, just so it kind of has a little bit of an ombre look and a smooth transition. After I have my first layer of grass field laid down, I will then go back over with Sweet Leaf just to make sure I have everything covered. At the moment, it does look a little bit like a hot mess, but the inks will smooth themselves out as we progress. Now I'm going to add in Shadow Creek. This is a beautiful dark green. I love this green. It really just kind of brings the whole gradient of greens all together. It just puts it all in one spot. Beautiful. I will bring the Shadow Creek down until the grass field just again so that I have that smooth transition from one color to the next. Now I will take the grass field and go back into my Shadow Creek. As you can see, my inks are starting to blend beautiful and they're starting to even themselves out and the splotchiness is starting to go away. I will now add a little bit more Sweet Leaf just to even that bottom part of my card out. This did take me about seven, maybe eight minutes to do all this blending to the way that I thought it was pleasing to the eye. Now I'm bringing in the stencil. This is called Leaf Bed and it's from Altenu. I'm gonna spray the back of it with Pixie Spray just so that it will secure nicely onto my cardstock. This does have some little fiddly bits in it, so you definitely want to make sure that you will press down your stencil to the cardstock just to make sure that everything adheres nicely. When you spray your pixie spray, please make sure that you're in a ventilated area. Before I laid down the stencil, I did allow my ink to dry maybe about 20 minutes or so. I wanted to make sure that my cardstock did not have any dampness or I knew my stencil would not stick. I did use the grids on my mat in order to get a straight alignment. However, in this case, it really just doesn't matter. I am pressing the leaves firmly in place to make sure that that pixie spray does adhere. There are some very, very fine details throughout the stencil and I do not want them to move on me. I am going in with a black Sharpie marker. 
This is a permanent marker and it will do a beautiful job coloring for me. Coloring through this whole stencil did take me about 20 minutes or so, so I did cut part of this out just to save you a little bit of time. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm going on the outline of each leaf with the black Sharpie marker and then filling it in. I will then take a fine tip Sharpie marker, as you can see there, and I will go into those very, very hard to reach spots. This creates a very nice crisp look, so when I remove this stencil, everything flows beautifully together. As you can see, this is a great Sharpie pen in order to get into all those little nooks and crannies. It's slowly coming together, as you can see, and I'm going to remove my stencil for the big reveal. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the ombre colors just blend so beautifully together. I feel like it needs just a little bit more, a little something else. So I do take my metallic watercolors from Altenew. I do spray the gold and I let the water sit for just a couple minutes just to soften I do take a paintbrush with pretty firm bristles, and this for me is really important because I do want my splatters to be very subtle. I don't want it overtaken all the work I just did, but I do want a little pop of gold popping through. I do mix the paintbrush through the colors, and I just basically flick it with my finger. This creates these tiny little dots just enough to give it that oomph, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now we have our pops of gold. Here, I'm going to take the big greeting die from Altenew and I'm going to use the Hello. I'm using gold metallic cardstock. It's like a gold foil, and in my craft room, I try not to have any waste at all. So what I do is I die cut my sentiment out of the center. You will never even know that it's missing. I do take my gold foil cardstock and I do place it on my four and a quarter by five and a half black mat. I got a little bit of glue on my gold foil, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking a microfiber towel and just wiping it off. This is also great to get rid of any smudges that you might have. I'm just visually trying to see what my card's gonna look like. So I'm placing my leaf part of my card down onto the foil just to get the full picture before I actually adhere it. I do use Barely Arts glue here to secure everything nice and firm. way this is starting to come together. I do put some of my blocks on just so that it has time to set and secure nicely. Looks like some of my glue might have oozed out a little bit. I do use a lot of glue. So again, I just take my microfiber towel 
just do a little buffing and it comes right off, as well as my fingerprints. Now that that is secure nicely, I want to add my sentiment. I am going to take my laser, which will allow me to easily line everything up. I always make sure my cardstock's going the right way. This little tool is so handy. Literally, the laser comes right out. I already know where I want my sentiment at, so just adhere it and then pop it right next to the red line. Nice and straight. I did adhere my sentiment using the Barely Arts glue. And again, as you can see, this laser makes everything so easy to line up. Look how stunning that looks. You see the little flecks of gold? Wow, just so subtle, but it sometimes is those little things that makes a great impact. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching me today, and I would love it if you subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know how I did, and if you would like to see something different or something new. Thank you so much for watching. Please hop along to see what some of our other educators have in store for us. Please check out the description box for the next in the hop. Bye-bye for now.